Mark, thank you very much. Well, if you had plans outside tonight, there's a good chance that they were impacted by the smoke and haze. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina is live in New Britain right now with a closer look at how the smoky skies led to a lot of canceled plans. Hector. Well, before you head out to your evening plans, you usually check to see if there's any chance of showers. But tonight, everyone had their eyes on the thick cloud of smoke in the skies, which canceled a lot of events tonight, like you said earlier, Mark. But the Yard Goats game wasn't one of them. Yeah, uh, I flew in from Chicago yesterday, and I was like, what the heck is going on? Despite a cloud of haze in the Hartford sky, the Yard Goats still took the field Wednesday night. Fans still showed up, though many were masked up. After high school championships, local and professional teams, including the New York Yankees, canceled their games tonight. Yard coach GM Mike Abramson explained why his team played ball, saying their players, managers, and umpires were all on board. There have been some other teams uh, nearby that had to cancel, but they had significantly higher AQI than we had, fortunately. So that's why we've been able to go on and everybody was on the same page. But in certain parts of the state, the air quality index was over 200, creating a health hazard for some. And it's just impacting a lot of people's just like health. I have a sister who has asthma and she definitely has not been doing well with it. I walked around my neighborhood the other day and felt I could definitely feel it in my throat. Just even talking here right now, you kind of, you know, you get kind of short winded. You feel it in the lungs. Particularly wood fire smoke like this is more toxic. So it's like smoking cigarettes, but you can't avoid doing it. Dr. David Hill of the American Lung Association says limiting your time outside or wearing a mask are ways to minimize risk. But it depends which mask you wear. Cloth masks really won't be effective enough. Um, so if you're going to wear a mask, an N95 or better. While the haze may cause minor respiratory problems for most, here's when you should go to the hospital. If you're having extreme shortness of breath, chest pain, um, weakness, or uh, symptoms that are really unusual, that's a situation where you may want to seek urgent care or go to an emergency department. And Dr. Hill adds that young children, pregnant women, and those with heart or lung disease are the ones with the highest risk. Hector Molina, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Hector, thank you.